Hello, big billowing clouds for some of you once again, which could threaten the odd hefty, maybe thundery downpours at times. But like yesterday, there'll be some sunshine around too. And for those of you in the eastern parts of Scotland and eastern England here, there could be some very few showers through the day. So some of you will stay, if not largely dry, even completely dry. Showers will be most frequent close to southernmost counties of England and in the west. These are where they will be at the heaviest, but I suspect there'll be even bigger gaps between the showers during the afternoon on what will be a blowy day. This shows the wind gust, strongest of the winds towards the west of Scotland, 40, maybe 50 mile gust. That'll make it feel rather cool here at around 7 or 8 degrees. And by and large, temperatures down a degree or so on what we saw yesterday. Into this evening overnight, showers will fade for a time away from western Scotland, Northern Ireland that is, and with some clear skies, temperatures could temporarily dip down to around 2 or 3 degrees, lifting a little bit later, particularly in the south, and it's here where more persistent rain moves its way in. Not great news, ground so saturated, river levels high at the moment. Keep up to the latest flood warnings on the BBC weather website. But notice here's where the mildest air will be, wrapped in around this area of low pressure, and the strongest the winds to the south and east of that. Further north, though, we'll be still stuck in some cooler conditions here, denoted by the bluer colours. They're going to be trying to fight their way back as that air of low pressure pushes its way eastwards, bringing early rain across parts of England and Wales. Some of that will be heavy at times, turning a little bit drier through the afternoon, turning a bit wetter for a while in Northern Ireland and eventually across some southern east eastern parts of Scotland, but showers frequent in western Scotland throughout, wintry over the higher ground, because here's where the coldest of the air will be, 6 to 7 degrees, compared to maybe 13 to 15 across the southernmost counties. Now, it's going to Monday evening. Could be uh, some clear skies in the north to see the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter. That north-south split there for Tuesday with more rain across southern counties. A bit more the way of wet weather with this air of low pressure. The further south you are as we go into Wednesday. But as you can see in Dundee, it stays dry here. And by Thursday, Christmas Eve, most places becoming dry again. Most places feeling much colder as well. That will lead into a chilly night to take us into Christmas morning with a widespread frost, particularly across England and Wales. There will be a few showers dotted around first light across the east there'll be some rain later in the highlands and islands of scotland but for most okay it won't be a white christmas except for the whiter frost in the morning but it could be a fairly sunny